Hello, here is a quick little tutorial on how to use the app Pleco. The app Pleco is the most common and most popular and recommended dictionary app for Chinese. So I would definitely download this on your phone. If you do not have it downloaded, there is an alternative website on the internet you can use. Um, which also works, but if possible, I highly recommend having Pleco downloaded. So it looks like what you see here, the top left corner, blue. Click on that. And first things first, the main home page that you'll come to looks like a dictionary. So you'll see you have a search bar at the top. And before you search anything at all, you're going to want to choose in the top right hand corner, are you searching for a Chinese term? or are you searching for an English term? So for example, if it's E, I'll type in English. Fire. Now as you can see, there are many terms that come up. Discerning which term is the correct one will come with experience. For now, you can just go with the number one, the first one that comes up. So I can see it says Hua, fire. From here, before I get into the, all those tabs, also there's another way you can search for words. So instead of English, you can click on the top right hand corner to be a blue C, which means Chinese. And if you know how to write it in pinyin, which means like with the Romanized alphabet, we're going to be learning how to do that. I would type in H-U-O because I know that's how you spell fire. But as you can see, you have to pause and again look because there are many words that are spelled H-U-O in Chinese. So you have to pause and take a moment to look for the word you're looking for, which would be the third one down, fire. Hua. All right, so once you have looked up a word, um, oh, one more, one more way we can do it. Now, if you look at um, my keyboard at the bottom, you'll see a paintbrush. Click on the paintbrush. One last way you can look for a character is if you see it but you don't know what it is in english or pinyin you can draw it in the thing about drawing is a lot of the times the app won't understand what you're trying to write unless you do it with the correct stroke order like so and it recognizes what i've written on the bottom it gives me a few options i would click the one that i am looking for which is the far bottom left corner search and then again it gives me the word fire all right now let's look at the a few of the tabs that come up with a word so first of all the far left it says dict short for dictionary and again many definitions come up so it looks like it could mean fire but it could also mean firearms or number four anger or a temper so when you're going to define a word it is good to read through the various definitions um, as you can see there are eight definitions so take a moment to try to discern which of those definitions would best fit the context that we're working with. When in doubt, again, go with the number one. Next tab is stroke. Stroke is how to write the character correctly in Chinese. So if you want to see how to do that, just click the play button. As you can see, I wrote it down with the wrong stroke order to begin with. So it should be the left side first, right, center, and right bottom corner. That's how you write it correctly. Click on charts next. So this is important for whenever we're laying out our radicals. Um, so what you wanna look for is, what is the radical in a character? So if I look down, I'll find the word radical in the second uh, row. I click on it and I can see that hua is not only the word for fire, but it also is a radical, which means fire as well. So that will make more sense as we go throughout practicing these together. The next tab is words. These are all kinds of different words that all have the word hua for fire inside of it. So for example, hua che, which literally are the two characters that mean fire and vehicle. Fire vehicle means train. And you can go on to see all the different words that have fire in it, like rocket, match, flame, gunpowder, etc. And this is a really convenient thing about Chinese structure. It's pretty, um, it, it makes sense the way it's laid out. 
And then finally, on the far right-hand side, you have sentences, which uh, is the word hua used in a couple of example sentences. These are going to be very difficult for you to understand as a first year, so feel free to visit that tab, but just know it is a little bit advanced. We're going to spend all of our time in the dictionary, just simply knowing what a character means, and also in the chart tab to understand what radical is in the character, and then finally, we will be doing some writing at some point, so it's good to know the stroke order as well. And that's pretty much a basic um, overview of Pleco. And yeah.